Hello friends and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel IB World Designing Developer. Today I will show you how to build an amazing project using Next.js and this video will be really helpful for you. So remember to see this video from start to end so you can learn one to one thing about this video and this video will be containing many of the things related to Next.js and previously we have just worked uh, some of the Tailwind CSS and I hope you enjoy that like how to use Tailwind CSS in Next.js and what are the beginning things. Uh, to use Tailwind CSS in Next.js and I hope you enjoy that. So today also we'll be doing some of the different thing using Next.js and I hope you'll be enjoying this video also like you enjoying my previous videos of Next.js. If you are enjoying and learning things from this video, so please hit a like to this video. If you are new on the channel, hit the subscribe button, share this video with your friends and family members so they can learn about these amazing things and skills which we are doing with Next.js. So I hope you understand that all things and now we will be starting with our project of next yes so like i've telling you we will be just building an amazing project using next yes. so now we'll be starting to build our project like previously we were using the same folder like we have built so here we will be using also today also we'll be using the same folder like previously we are using so here simply i'll be opening my vs code text editor like previously uh, we are working with this text editor and we are just using this text editor to work with our uh, like codes of next yes so here i'll be opening my vs code you can see it is totally empty because now i've opened new window of v, uh, my vs code now when you have opened your vs code just after that you have to open your command prompt in which we will be creating our folder and here you have to just write a uh, project name first of all i'll be selecting the local disk app then if i show you in local disk app you can see the, there are the folders which we will be building so i'll be using project 13 folder so i will be now writing npx create next step when you will be writing just remember to install node.js because if node.js is not installed in your operating system so you cannot work with next.js or react.js so we are working with next.js so it is really important to download node.js because it helps us to work with next and react.js now when you've written this npx create next app command and then you have to give it space and then you have to write your project name so i will be writing project dash 16 13 sorry just like i've shown you so when you will be doing that so you will you have to wait a while till it is installing and where it will be installed it will be giving you the command like your folder is already uh, like it is already made in your this disk and you have already this folder so we will be dragging dropping this folder you can see this is the folder and here i will be doing one thing now here i'll be dragging dropping this folder into my vs code now here when you have just drag drop this folder remember to you have to uh, run this so here for running this folder simply i will be doing one thing else like here i will be moving to my vs code then i'll be doing it like this so here i will be opening new window again then close this so we have to open some of the other folder so i'll be moving to my vs code then i will be now opening the folder so you can see now when you've opened your folder remember to run it so here i'll be moving to terminal press new terminal here then here you have to run your command of next year so remember you have to wait a while till your terminal is running you can see it is coming like your folder is already contained this file so here it means that your folder is successful and it is installed now you have to just do one thing here you have to write a command uh, to run your next year app like npm run there from the uh, from this command you you, you can run your next year app like when we write npm start so we can run our react app so when you will write npm run that so it will be running your next year's app. now it has started the local host server 3000 on my default browser means opera browser it is my default browser if you are having your default browser like google chrome microsoft edge you can open that so here i'll be opening local host 3000 now you have to wait a while and now i'll be closing this you can see now we are getting this thing here so here we have to do some of the changes here i will be showing you like previously we have done these things you can check my previous video also because we have just built these amazing things here and I, I have also shown you how to use Tailwind CSS in next year's which was previous project and I hope you enjoy that. So today we will be also learning different thing about next year's here. Now when you are getting these things I will be raising this button here which is written with this h1 tag save this. Now same as here also I will be doing same thing. Now save here also move to header.js and do same thing here also. Now you can see this is totally empty because now we have written nothing. So first of all we will be starting from header like what thing we have to write. So here. I will be now writing the command so you have to use some of the different commands from which you can get uh, different things here so here we will be using style tag if i show you so here when you have just used this style tag and now in this style tag i will be now writing a command of background hash image and when you will be writing this so here you have to set the url and then you can just set the things which you want to set so here 
Okay, now when you are in your style tag, just you can set the width or anything else here. Uh, if 100 if I set, so save here. And now you can see nothing happens here because now we will be writing here like if I write header, same. Save here. Now you can see nothing is happening here. So here I will be doing one thing. I will be moving down. Here I will be now writing H1 tag. So here in this I will be writing header. Save this. Okay, so it is not showing here. So I will be now erasing this here. Write H1 here. Then write header. Save this. And you can see now it is showing the header. Because now previously we were using the style tag to write header in that. So here I will be now writing style tag. Now when you've written this style tag here. Simply you have to do one thing here. Like uh, you can write like H1. And when you will be writing you can write anything here. Like text align center or like this. Save this. So you can see now it is giving error like this is unexpected error which we are getting here and now when you are just using your style tag remember one thing like you can use in this case so here i will be now writing style then close this remember to copy this style tag and now we have to watch and we have to see what will happen you can see nothing happens here now if i set its width so set width 100 save this you can see again nothing happens here because now we have to import so i'll be writing import style uh, from react so save this and you can see just here we are just getting this thing and now when i've written this style tag so just nothing is happening here now when you want to just put any image url here you can put and then if i write an image tag here in this div so you have to use an image tag here now in this image you have to write source and you can just copy any url or if you are having image in your folder so you can define that so like uh, you can define the URL of your image. So if I just go to Google and if I just search about any background image, I will be writing like this. Now you can go to images. You can copy any background image URL like this one. Uh, you can copy image address. Then if you paste it here, just remember to do one thing. Close it like this and erase this thing from here. Now when you've done that, just uh, you have to do one thing else like here if I move forward. So you can see this is really big URL of image. Now you have to just do one thing else like here I'll be pressing Ctrl Z. Now when you've done that just copy this one means small URL here. So this copy image address. Now paste this image address here. Now when you have just paste this image address remember to do one thing else like here if I just move forward. Okay so this is moved down. So here when, you, when it is moved down just you have to press Ctrl Z. Then I will be doing one thing here. I will be raising this image like this. I will be closing now. Now you can define the source here of your image. So here you can just uh, copy the image address or copy link address you can do. So it will be copying your linking address. Save this. And now you can see now it is showing one image tag here. Means your image is not defined. So here I will be doing one thing. I will be closing an image tag here. Save this again. You can see again it is not showing our image because here we have to use a alt tag also. So here I'll be writing alt is equals to nothing. Then close this. So you can see this is like this. You can define the link of your image. So if I write source down and then this thing also if I take it down. Now when you have defined this just take this also down and like this same as here. So now when you've done with this so you can see now we are getting this thing here simply. And now this was the thing which I want to show you and here you can see just nothing is happening here. Now you can define the image URL like this and you can work with this. Save this. So if I do it all in like this. So you can see we are just getting the inspected error and like this you can define the link address of your image. If I save it here again you can see we have not defined the slash because of that. You can see now our image is coming here. So like this you can define your uh, image link and I hope you understand how to define the link of your image using Next.js and I hope you understand how to just build, uh, how to work with this project and I hope you understand how to just define the link of your image. If you have understand and enjoy this project, so please hit a like to this video and if it is helpful for you, so subscribe on my channel because it gives motivation to me to make more videos like that and do more help for you. And you can use your previous folder which like I've telling you previously in previous video how to build a Next.js folder. You can use that same folder and you can work with your image or anything like this so i hope you understand this if you have understand enjoy this video and learn things so share this also with your friends and family members so they can learn about these amazing things and skills so 
just like this video i will be meeting in next video so for today good bye